Ready? One, two. Whoa! Yes. Eject. Is that an Aces, Aces 2 ejection clapper? It was, yes. <laughs> Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another episode of Brick Mania TV. Uh, this is a designer's desk studio. Uh, designer studio. The designer episode. studio, yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, you don't want the, to film at my desk. There's no room. The desk is gone. <laughs> you can't find my desk. No one has desks anymore. We just, we just work here. No, it's yeah. buried under, under debris. Mine too, mine too. Uh, but today we're going to talk, Dan, we're going to talk about the A10. We are. So yes. A10, A10A, this is the original, this is the old school The A10. old school one, yeah. Yes. So the Thunderbolt 2. Thunderbolt 2, that is, the, that is technically the name. Thunder is the, yeah. 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 Thunderbolt the, 2. Yeah. The, now it's Northrop Grumman Thunderbolt 2. So, okay. Yeah. Um, right, and that, who knows when those companies b b bought each other, merged. Right, merged right. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's um, <laughs> but there's, there's a company that's now responsible for this, the fleet of these. Yes, yes. yes. So the, the maintenance, yes, that's definitely a Northrop Grumman product. Um, maintained throughout the years this came out. In the, you know, this was de de designed in the 70s to mm -hmm. combat Soviet, perceived Soviet... Uh, armor threats. Yes, yes. to, uh, you know, an armored invasion of Easter, Eastern Europe to Western Europe. Wow. From the for former Warsaw Pact and Soviet Union. Yep, never happened, but there's still time. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it's. it's <laughs> <We're heading that laughs> way. Maybe now is not a good time to retire the A10. <laughs> Correct. Yes. So. Um, uh, this is a really good looking model. Oh, let, thank let you. Let me just congratulate you on that. It's been a long time since Brickmania made an A10. Mm -hmm. Long time, like eight years, something like that. Yes. Um, it, so, tell yeah. me about this model. Like, you've, it's a full rebuild? It's, yeah, there's nothing from the original A10 okay. in here. Um, it's a the one thing about my other A10. It was it was it was it was rather large, and I wanted to tighten it up and get it a little closer because I, I was working towards the the scale of the engine nacelles, and I, and I got to tighten this up a little bit more. So I shrank it down some. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than the previous one. Um, it's still a big plane. It's still yeah, it's still big. Um, it probably will save you some money in the end by the by the shrinking of the A10, but. Mm -hmm. um, it did allow for the, you know, I rebuilt these engines because the last one had like the, the concrete ones. I think we've talked about that. Yeah, the, 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 the hard to find concrete extra parts. <laughs> impossible, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. we've made them impossible uh, by making too many A10s. So this new one, this, this is a camouflage scheme that would have been um, Europe in the 80, late 80s, uh, very mm -hmm. early 90s. Right. Um, and, and like uh, to the first Gulf War, right? Yes. Yep. So this particular, this particular tail number that we made actually was in the in the first Gulf War, mm -hmm. uh, and famously was piloted uh, um, by an Air Force pilot doing a uh, covering a down another down pilot um, mm -hmm. for a, uh, I guess a combat uh, rescue combat yeah yeah okay. <laughs> so close air support for a combat rescue yeah. yes um, so so it was like a ten hour mission so Oof. yeah you can look that up so um, okay. this plane actually exists at the Air Force Museum. In Dayton, Ohio, right, 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 Patterson Air Force Base. Right, I looked at a lot of reference photos for so, that. Yes, so that's where a lot of this de details from. And, and thank you to the Air Force Museum for having that aircraft preserved because uh, we were able to make this model of it. So yeah, um, so yeah, uh, it's so brand new model. Uh, we've got prints all over this. We've Tell me about all the stickers on this thing. Uh, all of the stickers. Let me think of stickers. Um, uh, we managed to do it without a single sticker, Dan. Oh, wow! <laughs> right? I really, really thought we we're going to have to sticker this cockpit um, well, because that kind of a roll print on a noun round part is incredibly difficult. It may look circular, but it's not. It's got a flat it is, spot. It is, it is, it is and, and it's oblong. So, so you put that in a set of rollers, and it is going to do a thing. Yeah. Uh, so it's not, anyways, uh, it took a, a team effort. It wasn't just a me. A team of geniuses. Um, camera guy designed a nice little holder for it. We had, uh, we, we've, we haven't printed them all yet. Uh, but yeah. it's, it, 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 it does is take quite, some time. It is quite the operation. I've, I've seen uh, it in progress. How mm -hmm. many prints do you say that is? Uh, it is four, uh, three prints. Plus the all around. Yep, yeah. so it's, it's so one, two, and then the up and overs. Yeah. But that up and over is like a four hour print or something. <laughs> three hour print. It's, it, yes. We are, uh, we are really pushing the envelope on what our printers can do, but man, it, it is a process, isn't it? Um, you know, between the cockpit and all, you also had me perfect caliber up our armament, which we haven't <laughs> talked about. So uh, let me just go over the prints on this kit really quick, because we really have loaded it up with prints, and I'm really, really proud of my work on this. You did so, a great job with thank this. You, thank yes, you. Yes, this, yeah. this, is, this is loaded loaded up with prints. And, and you know, I, I'm, I really enjoy myself when I get a project like this, yeah. I have to say. It's like getting to do the research. 
finding all the photos, like d finding all the zoomable, like high detail photos, it's yeah. just great. Well, so, fortunately, we were able to get those. So this, we were uh, able to translate that into lots of cool prints. Thank you, Air Force Museum. Yes. yes. So. Um, but I'll just uh, start at the back. Uh, so. We've got tail numbers and uh, tactical air command shield yep. and a little piece of organic camo on both sides. Yes. Uh, and it's different on both sides. It's it is, it is different same. on it is, both sides. It, it is unique for each side. Yep. Uh, inside the engines, we've got... I forgot about the inside. There's turbines. Five <laughs> prints in each engine. Correct. We've got the turbine <laughs> blades with the proper number of turbine blades. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm going to hope to flip it up really quick. We've got, of course, a round along the wing. Yeah, oh, yeah. And we've got a bunch of fueling ports up top. Four, four fueling ports. Two on the fus fuselage and one on each wing. Um, as well as like the nose, like in-air refueling door mm -hmm. uh, with the markers in front of that and uh, the bird number across the front of that. Sure. So um, on the side uh, of the plane. I, I think we're, we might be missing the number across the top. No, right? it's, it's. Oh, it's on the other tile. Yeah. It's on the. Yeah. Ooh. I combined it. Yes. We could have broken it into two probably, but. Oh, yeah. it's all right. It works for me. It works. I think it's beautiful. Uh, on the side of the. Fuselage here, we have our ejection warnings uh, with, I don't know what those little question mark hook symbols are. It probably means it's a lift point or something like Could that. Could be, but, yeah, I don't know. Um, if you're an Air Force guy, reach out and tell me what the hook symbol means. Yeah. Um, I've never printed those before. No, no. first time. Uh, the, the, the Air Wing logo is on this side, the Squadron logo is on this side. And this is one of the few planes out there that, that like modern planes that has nose art that I've right, seen. Right, right. They've stopped doing that, actually. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been policy for quite a while. But during the Gulf War, where we modeled this aircraft after it had, it had some pretty racy uh, yeah, it's, play, it's, play themed uh, <laughs> nose art that's been Lego fied, right? Yep, I Lego fied it. Yeah. So it's got, you know, Lego. It's Lego one lady. of the raciest, raciest minifigs you're going to see. Uh, Lego, Lego lady picking up some bricks. Yeah. Yep. Play it's, well. It, it's called Playtime. Playtime. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, should, I should have called it Play Well. That'd been funny. Yeah. Um, and a couple of rescue arrows, of course. Rescue too. arrows. You got the nose, the, 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 no, the tail number on the nose. So that makes it the nose number. The nose number. <laughs> yep. And uh, whatever the little sensor dot on the front is, that, that gives it that warthog look. Yeah, yeah Miss, that's, missile, missile uh, warning receiver, I think. So. That's, that's always the eyeball of whatever the, yep. yeah, and when of they course, put in mouth on it. The front of the windscreen is, is printed. That's three parts right there. Yep. And then, of course, the, the canopy. And that canopy, again, like almost impossible for us to do that well. <laughs> uh, I didn't think we could do it well. I thought it had to be a sticker. So Yeah, so, so no stickers, go. zero stickers. Congratulations. It was yeah. hard fought. Um, comes with a nameplate that attaches this to the stand, of yes. course. And, and then we get into the armament. Yes. Oh, Would you like to? Here, let me just pull the beer up. What's this? Oop, we dropped a bomb. <laughs> these, are, these are prototype parts, guys. So when you see something that's not maybe not fitting as 100%, it's because yeah. it's a prototype. So um, just, just disclaimer there. So general purpose bomb, G yes. GBU-50. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is a 500 pound bomb, yes. yes. Um, general purpose dumb bomb. Um, of course, this one is an armed one, so it has a yellow stripe all the way around it. So. Correct. And yep, printed on both sides with full warning. And you get, you get six of them for the, for the aircraft, yes. Crazy. Yes, so you get six. And then what are these guys? Those are the uh, AGM 65. Five Maverick missiles. missiles. Yes, yep. Maver well, just Maverick is easy to remember. Yeah, <laughs> but yes. Uh, so that's an air-to-ground missile. It sure is anti-tank missile. It's one of the. It's it's one of the most widely produced anti-tank missiles there are. Mm -hmm. uh, I've only ever seen it on this plane. But it's got to be on other aircraft. It's got to be used on, on other ground attack aircraft. Uh, so. Yeah. But they still use them today. They just keep upgrading and upgrading their missiles. So. Seems to be the story of most missiles, like Sidewinders is the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah but it has two of those as yeah. well. So you've got two Sidewinders for air defense. These are just 3D printed warheads and fins. The, the, the body is a Lego, uh, Lego elements. Mm -hmm. um, those you've seen before, like on our F-16 and uh, what else we've had. We've put it on several, several things. So it'll be oh. on the next, the next Cobra. <laughs> So uh, even this Maverick, which is a huge missile, like in it the is. scheme of things, uh, we've printed that four sides. Four sides. The front, the nose. I don't know if you, can, you probably can't even pick that up on here, but the nose is printed. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like a camera kind of sensor kind of thing in the nose. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you remember the Gulf War videos, watching the missile 
on its trajectory down to its target. That's the kind of thing you're looking through. So, and, and the the canopy is a difficult print on this plane. The the nose of that the nose that of a missile, big gigantic missile is <laughs> super hard because it's it's really far off the bed. It's all about being kept rock steady it's, and hitting a lot that can dead center. Around. So, anyways, uh, yeah. uh, we've really worked hard to print it to this quality. So the Mavericks are printed. The Hydro Rocket Pods are also. Oh, printed. I forgot about the Hydro Rocket Pods. Yeah. Yes, the Hydro Rockets is a four four barrel Hydro Rocket Pod. Uh, this is our, I believe, five inch rockets. Um, four of them on the four of them on each wing. Uh, well, two two launchers, four in each pod. Uh, they don't actually launch. Sorry, it's 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 three D printed. Is one one unit. So uh, you've seen our 3D printing. This is a unique piece to this this aircraft that we've not released this particular missile pod yet. Um, so when you see these things when they're not like really shooting or doing practice flights, you'll see a dome over the top of it. I think it's blasting off with the first rocket launch. So okay. <laughs> we don't yeah. have the nose cap on it. We could make a future edition that has a nose cap. But I thought this looked cooler. Well, down the road, I want to see us have spring-loaded uh, yes. launchable ones. So spring-fired. Yeah. Uh, Folding fin uh, yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> so stay tuned for that in the future. Yeah, and then we've got an ECM combat unit. I forget what that is called too. Yeah, at the A N blah 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 blah. Yeah. yeah. So you guys know. You, if you know, you know. Yeah. yeah. You can you can open your garage door at this thing. You can cook your mic. You know, cook yep. cook your chicken. You know, it does all kinds of things. And it also like does electronic warfare and countermeasures. So. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It maintains your passwords, also breaks yep. into yeah, other people's It makes accounts. you invisible. It does all kinds of great things. Yeah. Uh, so. so super useful thing to have yeah. on board. We can't tell you what it is because, you know, it's 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 not our prerogative to give away state secrets. <laughs> Air Force's <laughs> secrets. <laughs> yeah. so. um, but what a cool kit. Yes. Uh, it was a delight to work on this. It was, um, it, and, and this, is, this is kind of an all-in-one. It comes with a stand. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you can just pop this thing on its landing gear. It should be no problem at all. Yep. So I have, make sure I have them down <laughs> before um, I set it down. <laughs> I don't remember the last time we gave people a ladder with their... Uh, it's the, the, a, the other A-10 had one. The last A-10 had okay. a ladder. That, you could pop that thing out and close that hatch, too. So it's, you're not yeah. flying around with a ladder, ladder down. So... It, you know, there is, and there's also a, there's a detailed uh, steam gauges in, inside the canopy. We right, because talk it's, about it's pre-digital conversion. And yeah. the ACES 2 ejection seat is also printed, so, yeah. you know, what else, have, you know, there's probably hidden things in here printed, we, we just forgot about them. Yeah, could, yeah. could be. Um, the alarm clock, the oh, clock, it's, clock it's, radio. It's got the, two flare boxes. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Uh, they're they're, they're on, down here under the wings, way back here. So, so there's flare 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 buckets here on the, on the real aircraft carrier. There's carrier. There's also in the real aircraft. There are additional flare buckets on the wings, but I don't have any things to to, to print on. To. Yeah, yeah. And the and the scale of those also is a little bit off. There's supposed to be four buckets per pylon here, and then two more on each. So it's it's <laughs> uh, anyways. You know, we can only do so much with what the space we're given. Right, but. right. We're working with we're working with the medium. So yeah. I'm I'm screwing up the. Uh, air brakes here. Yeah, but the a A-10's mission brings it absolutely down into like the most like fired upon range. These things came back from flights with like small uh, <laughs> holes in them. Like, yeah, like small arms holes, like yeah. all over the place. Um, Some large arms holes too. <laughs> absolutely, right. Uh, so they have, they're all about redundancy. The, all the systems on here are redundant mm -hmm. um, and then have a manual backup. So two, two, yeah. two independent hydraulic systems plus manual backups from just about everything. Right. So. Um, the pilot sits in a titanium bathtub yeah, um, of armor. It's designed to be survivable, because um, mm -hmm. if you're a, you know attacking the ground with your like even with a 30 millimeter cannon and all these bombs and missiles and 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 whatnot, you're still gonna you're gonna you're gonna face ground fire. And they they built this thing purposely to be more survivable than the average aircraft. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, I got on a tangent. You were showing off uh, air brakes. Oh, just just there's flaps, there's air brakes, there's, brakes, there's, there's yeah. ailerons. This, this has got it all, you know. So yeah. everything that. Uh, Supposed to actuate actuates. Well, yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't have redundant systems, but your rudders work. Your, your, your ailerons, your elevators, everything does what it's supposed to do. So, I don't know if we can see any of that stuff that I'm doing. Manipulating the the stuff, the the things, stuff in the things. So, you know, yeah. as you can tell, we're not real aviation uh, experts. We're Lego <laughs> and printing and art art experts <laughs> that right. just happen to love what we're doing. So. This is this is something that we we rather enjoy, I think. All right, and the last thing to show off is the fantastic minifig. And this fantastic minifig. So, Amanda, M and R girl, has really come through again with some Gulf War era pilot gear. 
that um, may or may not look like the actual pilot of this aircraft. Yeah. All, all, all similarities are coincidental, I think, right? Super coincidental, right. <laughs> um, yep, I believe this is a new helmet for us, and uh, perhaps a new breather. I, I would have to like cut to a man it's at this point. It's new-ish. <laughs> I don't think it's exclusive to this kit. But I was just admiring the helmet for it. Came out here. I'm like, oh, it's got side printing plus the the visor print. Just yes, I, it may be the first time we've put this into an actual production model. Okay. So it may have, it may have appeared previously in, in the figures. So anyways, great little pilot. Yes. Yeah. And overall, this is like probably the most exciting kit of 2024. Right. This is this is like I was just doing the vault stuff. We had that Panzer with all the the, the, the winter Panzer. I was like, look at all these marvelous 3D printed parts. Yeah. Look at all these prints. This this is very similar, but this is a flying tank. Where Absolutely it's, flying whereas tank. it's not a Panzer on the ground. So. 3,800 rounds per minute. Right. Um, this is a limited edition kit. So there is just X amount made. I don't remember. I don't know what the final number ended up being. There are still some. We made a few extra. We had a cutoff and said, okay, we'll guarantee production through this date. We had to round up to make the batch even. Yep. Uh, so there are still a few online. Um, as of this recording, I can't guarantee that yep. how long those are going to last. Because um, once these things hit the streets, they're going to be gone pretty quick. So uh, it's a fantastic build. A little more expensive than, than their, our average model, but man, you get a lot in this. Yep. It's top notch. Right. Everything about it. Everything about it is, is awesome. Cool. Uh, I think that's it. Thanks for tuning in again. Join us next time for another episode of Brickmania TV. Thank you. Okay.